Back in June 2019, we launched Raspberry Pi 4. Now, we've had a busy time since then. We launched Raspberry Pi 400, our computer and a keyboard product. We launched Compute Module 4, the deep embedded industrial version of the Raspberry Pi 4 platform. And of course, we launched Raspberry Pi 02, which updates the low cost uh, element of our product line. Uh, but it's been quite a while now since we've launched a flagship product. And I'm super happy today to be able to talk to you about Raspberry Pi 5. What's special about Raspberry Pi 5? Well, primarily, it's a lot faster than Raspberry Pi 4. We have between two and three times the CPU performance. We have roughly twice the GPU performance, and we have an enormous amount more IO bandwidth. For the first time, we can drive two 4K P60 HDMI displays simultaneously. We have roughly twice the USB 3 bandwidth. And for the first time, we're exposing a single lane of PCI Express to allow you to attach much higher bandwidth peripherals to the platform. What makes all this possible? Well, we have a lot of new silicon on the board. The only piece of silicon, in fact, that we reuse between Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 5 is the Cypress 43455 uh, dual band wireless chip. Um, on the board, we have a new application processor, BCM2712 from our friends at Broadcom, that contains four ARM Cortex A76 processors running at 2.4 gigahertz. We have a new power supply chip from our friends at Renesas, which provides up to 20 amps of core power. Uh, to power the, uh, the large ARM cores uh, in that Broadcom chip. Uh, but probably for me as a silicon designer, the most exciting thing about the platform is RP1. For the first time, there is a piece of silicon design in-house here at Raspberry Pi on a big Raspberry Pi product. What does RP1 do? Well, it provides all of the I.O. in the system. It provides us with our USB 3, it provides us with our Ethernet, it provides all of the GPIO, and it provides us with our MIPI display and MIPI camera interfaces. That's a 40 nanometer chip, again, like RP2040, like our microcontroller product, built for us by our friends at TSMC. This is almost a novelty for us. It's only the second time in Raspberry Pi history since Raspberry Pi 1 back in 2011 that we have told you about a flagship product before it's available to buy. Between now and then, we'll be posting a bunch of blogs, we'll be creating a bunch of videos that give you some insights into specific elements of the Raspberry Pi 5 platform. We'll be talking about the overall system architecture, we'll be talking about some of those silicon devices that come together to make the platform possible, and in particular, the work that's gone in to the RP1 I.O. controller. We're looking forward to taking you with us on the last leg of what has been a seven-year journey to make Raspberry Pi 5 a reality. We've loved building it, and we think you're gonna love using it.